Today we're talking with Dr. Burkhardt of Bronson Orthopedic Specialists in Battle Creek to learn a little bit more about partial and total knee replacement surgery, uh, more specifically the robotic assisted surgery. Now, what are some main causes of knee pain that you see in patients? The bulk of what we see is really wear and tear. Uh, the, uh, you know, the joints start to deteriorate with aging um, and also uh, with just lifestyle. So my grandma has had knee pain kind of throughout the later part of her life, and she just recently fell and is experiencing even more pain. What are her options um, to take care of that pain? Is that something surgically you take care of or non-surgically? Well, first we try and get to the, the, the root of where the symptoms are coming from and see whether this is something that is, is a stable problem or an unstable problem. So. Uh, the first step is generally an x-ray to see if there's a, a fracture that's occurred that's increased the pain level. Uh, if, that, if we rule that out and we see an underlying arthritic condition, um, then we try conservative things first, um, usually uh, things like non anti-inflammatories or Tylenol, mm -hmm. uh, uh, activity modification. Sometimes we add in physical therapy um, and uh, try and see if we can get the symptoms under control that way. Uh, if those things don't work, uh, we can move to injections. Uh, so if you've had a flare-up of an arthritic condition, you can put corticosteroids in there that can settle things down a little bit for a period of time. Or lubricant shots. Um, those two options usually are, are the next step if just rest and ice and, and over-the-counter anti-inflammatories don't work. Um, so if, if those conservative things don't work, then we move into the, the operative side of things. So at what point does someone need a knee replacement? It, it's, uh, it's really based on how limited are you with regard to your overall lifestyle, lifestyle and activities of daily living. So if, you're, if your symptoms are severe enough, like I said earlier, to affect your sleep schedule, mm -hmm. that's really the biggest thing that I think that uh, is important to pushing people in the direction of having something done. So if someone comes in and they have really bad looking x-rays, but they're not limited very much, they're still working, they're still, uh, their sleep schedule's not disrupted, um, and they're not taking uh, significant pain medication, um, those people can wait. Mm -hmm. uh, when someone comes in and says, you know, I just, I, my knee aches me all night, it wakes me up multiple times uh, while I'm sleeping, I think about how far I want to walk because I just feel like I can't go any distance um, it's exhausting me to, those people have a significant effect on their lifestyle mm -hmm. and, and they're going to get sick from the amount of pain they're trying to suffer through on a daily. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that need to have something done. Okay. Now what's the difference when you are um, pursuing surgery? What's the difference between a traditional approach to surgery, knee replacement surgery, and now this um, robotic assisted technology? Can you kind of explain that? When you're using um, uh, the, the, the robotic handheld burr, your, your precision is down to a half a millimeter or a half a degree. So it's much more uh, accurate and it's much more reproducible. So it takes out that whole variability in the placement of the implant. So, so our instruments in the past were very basic um, and with, with the improvement in the technology and the tools that we're able to use now, um, we, we can improve the way we place the implant to maximize the short-term function and long-term uh, durability of the implant. Mm -hmm. That's the big, the big advantage of it, is it, it makes a surgeon that already has experience and skill better. I was the first surgeon to do a total knee using a robotic system in the state of Michigan and the second uh, surgeon in the country to do it. Um, how many surgeries have you performed with the robotic assisted technology? In the last five years, um, I've done uh, over a thousand partial and total knees. I think that the addition of robotics to joint replacement surgery has been a total game changer uh, with regard to moving us forward and being better at what we do. And I look forward to even further advancements in, uh, in the use of robotics and placement of an implant to make people feel as close to normal as they can. Mm -hmm. 
uh, it's really enjoyable to do an operation and walk out of the room and know that you've measured and and you know that you've put that thing in as good as it could be done. Mm -hmm. That really feels great. And the second thing is in the post-op appointment, both the first and second post-op visits, which you usually have two, to see how those people uh, are recovering compared to uh, how they used to recover. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, it's a whole different ball game. They're, you can see it in their eyes. It's it's easier than they think it's going to be most of the time. Not everybody, but but I think we just we're improving what we what we do.